the Neolithic farmers of Scotland, who began to settle the region around 4,000 years before the Common Era, represent a transformative period in Scottish prehistory, as the shift from hunting and gathering to farming reshaped the landscape and society. These early farmers introduced agriculture to Scotland, cultivating crops like barley and wheat, raising domesticated animals such as cattle, sheep and pigs. This transition marked the beginning of more permanent settlements as these communities constructed stone houses, cleared land for fields and built megalithic structures. Genetically, the Neolithic farmers of Scotland were largely descended from the first wave of farmers who spread across Europe from Anatolia, bringing with them not only new technologies but also new genetic lineages. These early farmers were distinct from the indigenous hunter-gatherers they encountered in Scotland, who were primarily of western hunter-gatherer ancestry. For this video, I gathered 27 genomes of Neolithic farmers from Scotland. The DNA files ranged in size from 13 megabytes to 18 megabytes. For reference, a complete whole coverage file in microarray combined kit format will be about 50 megabytes in size. Every male in my study carried Y lineage I2A. The most common predicted phenotypes among the Scottish Neolithic farmers were Mediterranean, followed by Alpinid and Stranded. Stranded is a dark-colored Caucasoid phenotype occasionally found in Northern Europe. And lastly, Pamirid, which is a Caucasoid phenotype commonly found in Afghanistan and Tajikistan. One sample scored a Nordic phenotype and one sample scored a South Asian phenotype. The most common eye color among the Scottish Neolithic farmers was brown by far, although hazel, blue, green and dark brown were also found. The most common hair color among the Scottish Neolithic farmers was black, although dark brown was also quite common. One sample scored dark blonde as its predicted hair color. The most common skin color among the Scottish Neolithic farmers was olive, followed by light brown, although white skin was also observed. The most common hair texture among the Scottish Neolithic farmers was wavy, followed by curly, although straight and even kinky hair was also present. The most common nose shape among the Scottish Neolithic farmers was Greek, which is a long and aquiline nose shape. Overall, the typical Scottish Neolithic farmer is an average height person with brown eyes, wavy black hair, olive skin and a Greek-shaped nose. Scottish Neolithic farmers had some predisposition to warrior phenotype, which means lowered activity of the combed MAOA and MAOB enzymes, lower rate of dopamine reuptake, higher dopamine levels and lower stress tolerance. This is a typical phenotype for Europeans and very uncommon for non-Europeans. The Scottish farmers also had predispositions to lower availability of D2 receptors, which would predispose them to ADHD and protect from such conditions as bipolar type 1 and schizophrenia. Speaking of bipolar 1, the Scottish farmers had below average predisposition to bipolar type 1. The Scottish Neolithic farmers were predisposed to higher level of 5-HT, which would predispose them to lower odds of depression and anxiety. The Scottish farmers had roughly average predisposition to autism, much lower, much much lower than the Easter hunter-gatherers and Yamnans observed previously, although still quite high, which is typical for Eurasians. None of the Scottish Neolithic farmers' samples were predicted to be lactase persistent. The Scottish Neolithic farmers had a predisposition to a slightly higher than average level of empathy. The Scottish Neolithic farmers were quite athletic. The sprinter ACTN3 allele was overrepresented among the Scottish Neolithic farmers compared to the European average. The Scottish Neolithic farmers had average predisposition to autoimmune disease and interestingly had predisposition to type 1 diabetes and rheumatoid arthritis, which are common in Europeans but not to multiple sclerosis, which is also very common in Europeans. The Scottish farmers were predisposed to have an average predisposition to cardiovascular issues and homocysteine levels. The Scottish farmers were predisposed to lower odds of obesity based on FTO genotypes. The Scottish farmers were predisposed to significantly elevated level of LDL cholesterol and elevated blood pressure. Both of these are bad. One of the Scottish farmers sampled had hemochromatosis or the Celtic curse and another sample had a strong predisposition to it based on predicted iron levels. The Scottish farmers were overall predisposed to a slightly shorter telomere lengths and therefore shorter biological lifespan. The most common blood type among the Scottish Neolithic farmers was type A followed by type O. Blood types B and AB were also observed among them. Thanks for watching my video until the end. Check out the description for useful links and research. Don't forget to leave a like and comment what you found interesting.